Hi guys, welcome to the multi-award winning Emerald House of Cars. We're a totally unique family run business on a mission to be the best car dealership in the UK. Our commitment is to give you guys the best buying experience you've ever received, whether you plan on purchasing completely online using our free next day delivery service with seven day money back guarantee, or you're coming to the showroom to meet the team. We've made everything as easy and as transparent as possible so that you've got full confidence in choosing Emerald for your next car. A little later in the video, we'll show you how our vehicles are prepared before sale in our on-site RAC approved service center. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the following video. Hello there guys, and welcome to this quick virtual walk around of the Mercedes-Benz GLA 200D AMG line. So you'll note that the AMG line is a nice styling upgrade and a few nice little bits and features that you get on the base model GLA. GLA itself is of course a perfect crossover for those with families either growing small or large and who don't really want the commitment as such to a C-Class saloon or they don't want the too small nature of an A-Class. This is a perfect blend between practicality, comfort and Mercedes-Benz luxury. So what can I tell you about this? So it has got the calcite or cirrus white depending on which side of the fence you sit which is of course a solid paint finish, which gives it a real nice wet gloss look. And it really is a cool color against the black and chrome styling. It's got your halogen headlights just down here. And moving down, you can see part of the AMG line, you've got the sports meshing, you've got the plastic bumper there, and you've also got the front splitter in the solid chrome satin. You've also moving around, got your TriStar in chrome and you've got your soft satin and your high chrome satin as well. And moving around, you can see you've got the further sport styling. Moving down, you've got your 18 inch AMG 5 spoke alloy finished in titanium grey with a diamond cut edging. And you can see you've got the black surround just on your bumpers, your wheel arch trim, and going all the way down onto the side skirt. We've also got the real nice chrome styling as well. Moving up on the wing mirror, you can see that's finished in the calcite or the cirrus white as well with the gloss black and built-in indicator. And you've also got aluminium roof bars right up top to give it a real nice elegant bespoke look. And you've got tinted privacy glass on the rear, tinted B pillars just on there and the chrome window surround as well. So the car's free from any dinks, dents, marks, really well looked after by its previous owner. Nice flush straight lines. Now moving around to the rear, you have of course got your Mercedes-Benz branded LED rear light cluster. You've also got your tinted black C pillars. You've got your gloss black on your window just here. And you've also got your lip spoiler here with your high level bright light. And moving down part of the AMG styling pack, you've of course got your canyons and your vents. You've got your nice titanium grey diffuser there with your chrome dual exit exhaust. And you've got the black honeycomb meshing effect all the way around as well. You've also got your nice chrome finish just on here on the boot lip, which of course is there to protect your paint from getting damaged when you're loading in luggage, shopping, Christmas presents, birthday presents, push chairs, anything of that nature. You've also got your badging and your TriStar again in chrome. And if you lift it up, click the boot under there, stand back, and it opens up automatically for you. Now the boot itself is actually quite spacious. It's not too bad at all. Easily get a buggy in there at an angle or a stroller. Proper push chairs, you might struggle, but you can easily get any luggage, suitcases, or anything of that nature. And if you do need extra room, you can of course put it underneath where you'll find the tire kit and the jack as well. And what you can also see is if you pull this backwards, you do have the load through facility and that just enables you if you're going golfing or anything of that nature or to be in queue with all the other dads, you can get the stuff in there easily. Shut it down, click the button and there you go. And again, moving around the GLA, you can see lovely straight lines all over the car. It's a really, really good looking bit of kit. And it offers real, real good value for money again. Added practicality with comfort, luxury, and the ability to house everybody in comfortably and safely. So, in terms of aesthetics in regard to the interior, you can see you're greeted by a somewhat surprising spec. Now, the AMG line obviously does give you the nice extras such as the sports bolster seats here. With the Artico man-made leather, you've got the dynamic suede inside, and you have, of course, got the red contrast stitching. 
really nice supportive bolster seats it is a real real nice place to be for the driver and passenger you've also got your leg extenders here which you can use with this lever depending on if you're doing long journeys or short journeys and they are of course manually adjustable you've got your color code and all your vin numbers just down here and you can see moving around it's just a really nice elegant luxurious place to be now on the door card we'll start before we get in you can see you've got your deadlock facility you've got your electrically adjustable mirrors electric windows and you've also got your remote boot release just down here and on the door card it is finished in half suede and half man-made leather with a red contrast stitching I'll tell you what we'll do before we get in the driver's seat we'll show you the rear seats you can see free from any marks any tears any damage on those seats at all you do have isofix so that means it's great for the kids and you can see you've also got plenty of leg room when it comes to rear passengers and you've also got your heating in the back and nets on the back of the front chairs so what you can see is you have of course got your white and silver instrument cluster just here which takes it back to the old school nostalgia and you've got your red contrast font you've also got your kilometers an hour at the top your digital time and of course the digital display in the middle which tells us there it's covered just over 37,420 miles now steering wheel multifunction. of course it is it's a mercedes but it's also got the real nice half perforated leather on just both sides of there on the left and right which allow the driver real nice firm grip and total reassurance that even when it's cold or your hands are wet there's less chance of you slipping off and having an accident you've also got the red contrast stitching as part of the amg pack and on here you've got your menu which controls the instrument cluster display just there on the opposite side you've got your voice control you've got your telephone and you've got your volume control and mute as well and it's a nice place to be i mean everything is where it should be everything is where you would expect it to be you've got your lighting just down here so you've got your fog lights your auto lights you've got your ignition barrel you've got your parking brake you've got your instrument cluster lighting it's a real nice place to be everything is where it should be everything is at arm's length and again from the driver's seat it's just really aesthetically and visually very pleasing moving across from that you can see you've got your real nice brushed aluminium inlay there with <coughs> excuse me with your fans you've got your media tablet system which is of course is not touchscreen and then moving that round again it flows effortlessly into the passenger door card so we'll turn it on now for you just so you can take a look and hear just how it sounds So my advice would always be turn it right down, turn it almost all the way first, let all the needles do their thing, foot on the clutch, foot on the brake and turn it on. Now you can see no problems in starting, no delay, no hesitation, nothing of that nature. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do a nice bird's eye view as such and we're going to show you this. So your instrument cluster is controlled from this menu here. So we're on currently on the trip section of the menu now if you click down you can get your range your consumption you can get your eco display you can get your current mpg and trip so that's basically from the minute you've turned the car on you can see where you're traveling how fast your average speed is how many miles you've done and your average mpg you can also get it from the reset so on this occasion you can see that the guys have traveled 18,646 mile it's took them that long at 17 mile an hour average and it's 47 to the gallon which is definitely not to be sniffed at and then you get back to your digital speedometer now to change the menu you click across you click on this option and of course we've got navigation now that won't bring up a virtual cockpit as such what that will do mute that woman what that will do is that'll just give you any information or any directions you need to follow on your current journey you can also click on audio you can see we've got the fm radio on on here and we've got radio one you can also click across onto telephone and that will all obviously allow you to change any settings in your phone you've also got the assistance now this is where it really gets important so if you click on the graphic you can see you've got a virtual road just there and that'll of course inform you of any obstacles or any upcoming almost instructions or anything on your current route and of course we've got the attention assist so what this will do is this will measure how long you've been driving for automatically 
and just give you an indication of when you need to take a break or a rest. Basically head to your nearest service station, pick up a hot chocolate and an ice Greg sausage roll. You've also got ESP, which is of course traction control or electronic stability program, and you've got collision prevention assist. And down here, you've got the attention assist we spoke about earlier. And on service, this is probably the main one that you want. So on the messages, if you've got low fuel, if you've got um, low tires, if your doors are open, if you've got a fault with the ad blue, anything like that will be displayed in the messages there. You can change your tire pressures at any time by clicking OK. And as you can see, the tire pressure is restarted now. And if you click on Assist Plus, that'll tell you what service is due and how long until it is. Which, of course, you can see it's Service B, and it's not due for just under a year. Happy days. And lastly, if you click on Settings, you can change such things as your displays in terms of miles or kilometres an hour. You can also change your light, which is, of course, your daytime runners. You've got vehicle settings for your automatic door locks and make the noise when they lock. And you've also got the option to restore it to factory settings. Now, moving on to the media system. It isn't complex, it's actually quite easy to use. And it's controlled using this little gizmo here, which is of course the media control. So you click on your navigation and you can see it's a real nice, easy option to use. Click on destination entry, put it in there, click go and away you go. The map itself, again, real nice, real easy, and it is a Garmin-based sat-nav, which is played out from the SD card just here. And obviously Garmin, along with TomTom Tom and some other guys, are probably the market leaders when it comes to media and maps. Now, aside from that, you can click on the radio, and you can see you've got different wave bands here, and you've got FM and AM. There is no DAB on this option. Now you can also click on media and if you click down onto the media options you can see you've got bluetooth audio you've got media interface you've got a memory card and of course you do have your cds as well and you've also got some information on the media now if you click on telephone really straightforward click on connect device and you can see collect new device and what that will do is that will set it up for you and you're good to be chatting on the phone as you're making progress if you click on vehicle settings you can get into that you can change if your locator illuminate is on so when you lock the car or unlock the car do you want your lights and your mirrors to flash you've also got your interior and exterior lighting delays and you've got your ambient lighting brightness too you don't have the multicolor option on this, just the solar orange. And if you click on dynamic select, what you can do is you can configure the individual drive mode. So for me, I would be setting this up in the sportiest mode possible. So I'd have that on sport. I'd have the steering on sport, which gives you a little bit more responsiveness. I'd have your eco start stop off, because for me it's a pointless function. And I'd have your climate control on eco. That just means you're going to get the most out of this GLA when you're driving it now. And you can change and check on your consumption in 15 minute intervals. It will bring up how many miles per gallon you're getting as an average on the left and your 15 minute intervals on the bottom. Now you can always click on the owner's manual and find out anything or you can change the time just there. And if you go onto system settings, what you can change on there are your favourite functions, so if you click on there, you'll be able to see you can change all the different things as your favourite functions. You can also, if I just scroll back onto that, sorry, go on language, you can change your display, your rear view camera, so if you click on that, you can activate or deactivate it as soon as you put it in reverse, and you can put your Bluetooth or import and export your data. Speaking of the reverse camera, foot on the clutch, foot on the brake, the gear stick, you have to lift it up, pull it to the left and pull it down you'll know you're in reverse because that will happen on comes your camera and wave to the c63s but we'll come to the gear stick in just a minute so moving down under that you have of course got your air distribution and here you've got your old school this is kids the millennials how we used to have a touch screen in the old days buttons that's what they are and if you don't like using the funky gizmo here on the iDrive, what you can do is you can use this. So if I click on radio, 
you'll see aside from blowing my head off it will do that as well I can click on media brings up media navigation brings up navi telephone is bluetooth you've got your mute you've also got your vehicle settings here and you've got your bluetooth telephone just down there on this side you can use it to manually dial phones or you can also do it to change tracks on your cd and you've also got your cd player just there and moving down you've got your dynamic select so you'll see in the instrument cluster and the media system when you change your drive select mode it brings up a nice little graphic and it tells you the properties and the configuration of each mode you've got your hazard lights and you've got auto start stop and moving down from there you do of course have your dual zone air conditioning so what i can do if i really want to i can turn one all the way up and one all the way down cold for the passengers warm for the driver if you want to sync it and you don't want it to be dual zone click that button and it will automatically sync to the driver's temperature because the driver is the boss you can also change your temperatures by moving these dials just here you can click on auto and that will automatically adjust the air conditioning to the temperature it feels is necessary and of course you've got your front and rear windscreen heating just there the air distributed into the cabin you can change the severity by using the fan buttons up and down and if you click on mode that will change where the air is distributed into the cabin you've got recirculation and you can turn your aircon off at any time and if you want to turn the whole system off just click the button there in here you've got a little fold up tray which of course got your 12 volt charger and a very dirty cigarette bin and moving down from that you've got normally a lot of space here if you have the autos but this is of course where the manual gearbox sits half perforated leather on the knob here you've got the nice silver and chrome black finish with a silver lo logo and writing and you've also got this real nice gear gator in the black napa leather with a red contrast stitching which again against the seating gives it that effortless style that mercedes are renowned for you've also got your iDrive controller two cup holders and two card holders and here you've of course got your moving armrest finished in the article leather with the red stitching pull that back lift it up and you can see you've got your usb and chargers in there as well so that really is everything that i can show you on this mercedes-benz gla200d aside from the fact of telling you that every car here even this gla is treated to the emerald 128 point check prior to retailing this just ensures that any of the cars here are checked over meticulously by our head technician our bodywork guys and our mechanics as well so everything cosmetically and everything mechanically as well we just want it to know that as soon as you come down here to see the car in person and meet the gang here at team green that your car is going to be in peak condition we also have service every car here with an oil and filter change when it comes in just to stop any cross contamination of oil or any confusion on the products used and if there's less than six months mot we get a new ticket on there for you we of course welcome part exchange we also welcome the offer of finance options as we deal with many of the market leaders and can offer fantastic apr rates so if you do have any questions on this gla the video or anything about the emerald brand do please give us a call and any of us at team green will be more than happy to help one of the most important factors when buying a used vehicle is figuring out who to trust buying a car is a massive financial commitment and you need to be a hundred percent confident in the company that you choose we have over a thousand five-star reviews on google facebook and auto trader hundreds of video testimonials and the jewel in the crown are the multitude of awards we've won over the past number of years including UK Independent Dealer of the Year, Independent Community Dealer of the Year, and most recently, Used Car Retailer of the Year. Integrity and transparency are really important to us at Emerald in how we conduct our business. We're the only dealership with a multi-award winning weekly YouTube show, which pulls back the curtain and lets you see the inner workings of how a car dealership operates. We cover all aspects of the day-to-day -day running, from buying, selling, sourcing, after sales, and of course, everything that goes on over at our RAC approved workshop. Every one of our car undergoes a 128 point vehicle inspection by our team of experienced technicians. Any item that aren't up to our approved standards, we rectify and replace parts needed with manufactured approved parts. 
We also serviced every car and put a fresh MOT on ready for its next owner. When we are happy the car is in A1 mechanical condition, over it goes to our body shop for paint correction or wheel refurbishment, then finally onto our detailing team. Essentially, we want to ensure that when the car reaches its new owner, it's at its very best. For the road ahead, we've got you covered with a comprehensive 90-day warranty, which can be extended for one, two or three years, depending on your preference. We are proud to be partnered with the market-leading warranty providers that match up to our own high standards, providing customers with genuine support when they need it. We've also got you protected for all unfortunate circumstances, such as having your car written off or stolen throughout your time holding the vehicle. We're really pleased to be able to offer a great RAC gap and return to invoice insurance product, keeping you safe long after you've left our showroom. If you are local to us and want us to take away the headache of keeping your car well maintained, our service plans could be just the ticket for you. Payable monthly and carried out in our fully equipped RAC proof garage, every service comes complete with a free health check to keep you and your vehicle safe and secure on the journey ahead and also protect the future value of your car by maintaining that all important service history. And when it comes to protecting your car's interior and exterior against stains, scuffs, contaminants, all of our encompassing Gardex paint and fabric protection ensure the aesthetic appearance of your new vehicle remained unaltered and improved to an almost better than new finish. It's a great opportunity to protect against the best and worst that Mother Nature has to offer. And last but not least, if you do need to take out finance for your new vehicle, we have a panel of over 35 lenders, including Santander, with rates as low as 7.9% APR, always guaranteeing you the lowest possible interest rate. For a fee finance check, which won't affect your credit rating, click the finance tab on our website to fill out a two minute application that lets you know beforehand what your monthly payments are likely to be. We've got loads of PCP, HP, and lease options available, depending on your personal preference and budget. So if you want to speak to me or my team of finance experts for any help and advice, please don't hesitate to pick up the phone, we're here to help. Our goal at Emerald is not just to sell cars, it's about creating lasting relationships and customers for life. But don't just take our word for it, here's what some of our customers had to say about their very own Emerald experience. And how would you rate us out of 10? 10 being probably the best car dealership in the UK. Definitely 10. Oh, I'd definitely say 10. I'm going to say 10. 10. 10, obviously. 10. 10, I suppose. <laughs> definitely a 10. I would give you a 10. Ah, it's got to be a 10. I'd give you a 10. Well, it's obviously a 10, isn't it? Obviously a 10. Mate, it's more than 10. Can I say 11? Straight million. <laughs> Straight, Straight million. Why more than 10? I would say 10. Oh, I'd go as far as saying 11. Definitely a 10. 10, yeah. A 10. I can say 10. In the 11. UK. Well, it's got to be a 10. Definitely a 10. If I could give you more than a 10, I definitely would. <laughs> I'd definitely say a 10. 10. I'd give you a 10. I'd give it a solid 10. I would say 10. 10 out of 10. I'll give you a 10 then. Sounds good. Give us a 10. 10. Don't argue with 10 out of 10. It's got to be a 10. <laughs> I'll give you a 10. But I would rate you a 10. So 10 out of 10. 100%. It's got to be 10 out of 10, oh. right? That's an easy one, isn't it? It's 11. 11 out of 10. I'll give you 10. Perfect. Because I came back, didn't I? <laughs> and I'll Perfect. be back again. <laughs>